and yeah so now I'm gonna add a new package now this is for uh, actual entity render entity boom so in here we want to actually add a new class so this is for the rendering so I'm gonna call it render ghost so we're gonna render everything using this class now so this has got extend render living and the entity living that is going to be doing is a entity ghost control shift o now that's going to make us want to add a constructor and um this just leave it super and it's going to make us want to add some method so get entity texture we're going to do that in a second but what we want to do is we want to have a protected uh, resource location which is going to be our ghost texture and we're going to initialize this in a second like right now so this dot um, hold on. now this is this is the render manager now we don't actually have a render manager I think do we need it no I don't think we do and that takes in the model base which is our model ghost and also the shadow size and then what we want to do um, we want to call super with the two arguments now I think things have changed a bit since when because like I'm following minecraft code and st stuff that I've looked up on the internet for this um, so we want to initialize it so we're going to set this dot if I could spell this right this dot ghost texture is equal to a new resource location and this is going to be a reference dot mod id so we're going to get a mod id and we're also going to add the reference so this is in fact you just want to put colon so textures slash entity slash ghost dot png so that's just telling them where our texture file is now we want to actually add a pre render callback method it all it does is call it again that's all it needs to do it needs to do this dot pre render callback So that's all, all it does. That that just changes super to a this. It's all it needs to do. Because it's already done stuff for us. Because I think because like 1.6. No. Like Java 6 was like what was using now. So X stuff came in 7. So cool stuff like that can be done. Um, get entity texture. Really simple. This dot ghost texture. We've already said it. So, and then we're actually going to add it, it in here. You can add like really cool stuff. You can rotate the entity and all that lot before you render it. We're not going to do any of that. So that that's our renderer done. So if you want to look at how to get some renders, it's actually in. Um, where where is it? I've found it before. Yeah, I think it's entity renderer. It's in the renderer class. Renderer entity. That's where you find all the renders, so you can render the dragon. This just has the textures rotating and all that lot, you know. But we don't we don't need that. Do we? So now we need to register the entities like 
render. So, like with a lot of stuff, you want to add a public void, and it's going to be register entity renders. And this is a blank method because entity rendering is called on the client proxy. So you want to just uh, press control space and register entity renders. Just going to override it. We don't need to do any super because we don't have a f anything there. And actually, all you need to do is rendering registry dot register entity rendering handler. And it can take in our entity. So that's and then this is entity ghost dot class rendering factory is in fact a new uh, render ghost which takes in a render manager which is minecraft dot get minecraft dot get rendering manager the model base is in fact a new model ghost And then the shadow size is going to be 0.7f. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So yeah, go check them out.